Hello, I'm Carolyn Herbert from the Finance News Network and joining me over the phone from Brainchip to discuss the launch of its patent search and facial classification software, Brainchip Studio, is SVP Marketing and Business Development, Bob Beechler. Bob, welcome to FNN. Thank you. Now, Bob, for investors who aren't familiar with the company, can you start by giving us an introduction to Brainchip and your products? At Brainchip, we use a type of artificial intelligence called neuromorphic computing. It actually simulates the function of a human neuron. In the industry, this is referred to as a spiking neural network. This technology is very good at recognizing patterns in difficult environments, just like the human visual tract. To date, we have deployed this technology as custom software for casinos to track cards and chips, to perform object recognition and machine vision applications, and in law enforcement for forensic analysis. We have locations throughout the world, and our engineering locations are in, in Orange County, California, and Toulouse, France. Thanks, Bob. Now, you've just announced the release of your new product, Brainchip Studio. Can you tell us what this is and how it works? Brainchip Studio is a suite of applications that use our artificial intelligence technology to detect, track, and classify patterns or faces in live or recorded video. The way it works is that our customers can train our artificial intelligence to recognize a pattern. This training happens almost instantaneously. Then the trained artificial intelligence can review large amounts of recorded video to find that pattern. For facial classification, we can automatically detect, track, and extract facial images in real time. One can then use a single photo of a face and our AI will search this database of previously extracted images to find the likely matches. Very good. So what are the applications for this technology? Because our AI technology can be rapidly trained to detect any pattern of fa or face, it will be used primarily for forensic investigations of crimes and terrorism by law enforcement agencies. Our artificial intelligence can find perpetrators or victims based on identifying features across any of the video sources that are available to these agencies. And Bob, what's the size of the market for facial classification technology and how does this compare to what's already being used by law enforcement authorities? The size of the market is quite large. According to one market research firm, there'll be over 127 million surveillance cameras shipped this year. This is in addition to the ones that are already deployed in the field. This means that that there is a tremendous amount of video data being created daily, but no one is able to look at it because it's too much information. Our technology enables agencies to take full advantage of their installed base of video surveillance equipment and already recorded video. Our AI technology works very differently from existing solutions in that we can be trained on any pattern or face instantaneously, and we can work in these low resolutions, dimly lit environments. Most facial recognition systems today need to use specialized cameras and are deployed in well-lit environments. And finally, Bob, which sectors are you targeting in terms of marketing this technology and what's the level of interest in it so far? This technology is clearly targeted at law enforcement, homeland security, and intelligence agencies. We've been doing field trials of this technology for a few years now, working with some select law enforcement and intelligence agencies to fine-tune our technology and the associated software applications. The results have been very positive with these initial trials, and we feel now is the time to launch the mass market product. It's really a culmination of about 10 years of research and development in artificial intelligence that we've put together into the launch of our BrainShip Studio software suite. Bob Beechler, thanks for the update. Oh, you're welcome. Thank you for the time.